Well, we're getting all the family together today and we're in Delamere Woods. So we're going to have a little walk and see what we can find. So as we go down to the woods today, we're sure for a big surprise. Do you want to say hi? Hi, hi everybody. everybody. Hello. So we've driven up from Somerset. So we moved across from Hampshire to Somerset and now we're actually somewhat further north. We're in Cheshire now and um, we're just going for a little walk in Delamere Woods. So we've met uh, my brother and his family and uh, they've got their caravan here. Uh, we've uh, rented a house in Crewe which is uh, really surprisingly nice. It's a very comfortable, very convenient and not too far from these woods and we've just joined our with the children who we really haven't seen each other for quite a while the big girls have just run off into the distance they don't like being on camera which is very typical and the little ones are having a whale of a time running through mud yeah might be a bit muddy we did have a little bit of rain on the way up um little bit i don't know was it a lot torrential shower a torrential shower <laughs> That's an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> and so, yeah, we had a little bit of rain and they've had a bit of rain here earlier on. It's a lot greener in Cheshire than it was down in Somerset or Hampshire. Um, but we're in the woods here, so it's nice and sheltered from the sun. So Anita's happy. I'm saying you're happy because you're not in the sunshine. You don't, you don't need your parasol here. We have leaves to do that for us. And uh, the children have got lots of trees that they can climb through and around. See what they can find. They've got that lovely forest, that moist, humid forest smell. Temperatures today have uh, really comfortable. Do you think that'll make a good bow and arrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This can make a bow and arrow, can't it? Wonder if David's brought his pen knife. <laughs> What's that? You've got a stick. That's a, I like, that's a nice big thick stick. Whoa, that looks a good one. Oh, there's a den, look. Somebody's made a den for you. That's a cool den, that is. <laughs> it's got to be one that bends and doesn't break. So it's prefer preferably a green stick. I love making bows and arrows, William does. So we've got to search for a suitable, suitable stick. Yeah, that looks pretty suitable. Well, in Mallorca I always carry a pen knife. Yes. I always carry one, but obviously coming on the aeroplane I thought <coughs> maybe I shouldn't bring it and I thought I should buy one while I was here and just leave it here. Well, I do miss having a pen knife. <laughs> When I'm at work, I've always got one on me. I carry a waistcoat full of stuff, which is really heavy. Uh, and if anyone stops me in my work clothes, uh, there's no big deal. But uh, the law is a bit uh, being strict about carrying knives. A bit narrow there for you to get through. Squeezing through. <laughs> if you went the other way, it's a little bit muddy. Quite a lot of water in this area. And the nettles. Can we go for a swim? Oh no. <laughs> a nice mud bath. A beautiful countryside. Are you cleaning all the washes when we get home, Mummy? Looks like it's used for mountain biking as well, this route. See the tracks in the mud. 
Oh, right. Well, I'm, I'm probably guessing that uh, William's done go eight before. I bet Amelia has. Go ape is uh, where you dangle from the trees and <laughs> with your lines. We have something similar in Mallorca. Yeah. She used to take the scouts to. Luna, Amelia, Luna, come on. It's a nice little picnic area. <laughs> Who's got your sunglasses, William? Will, where are your sunglasses? No, no, I've got them. You have to be fast to get these children. Well done, that's a good one. Luna making a noise. It's not worth it, is it? Got the segways down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, going the same way to the friendly the visitor. Careful on the road. Yeah, but I thought the car was Yes. Yeah. up with the big girls so it's all very safe here um, I was worried there was a road but it's just really access to the houses and then further along it's gated off so very very safe for the children to to run around in a beautiful environment has to climb over. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what being a boy is about. Amelia and 
William decided to come and investigate because they've noticed that there's some dens down here. Oh. This is my little house. How much fun is that? Is that going to be your house? It is my house. Well, you've got a seat in there as well. No, I've got a big seat. Do you think you could camp there overnight? No, yeah. What, would it rain in? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. So you'd have to collect some ferns, wouldn't you, to make it waterproof? Or some leaves or something to make it waterproof. Hey, I have a little seat. This is my little house, Luna. This is my house. Hey, I can find a little bit sick. It's definitely a forest for dens. Everywhere we look, there's a, a den, some of them huge things that people have been making. Sort of thing I would have done when I was a boy. Actually, sort of thing I've done even when I was an adult. With the scouts, it's something we used to do quite regularly, making dens. Next year? Yeah. Here we are. We've got a different house. Like so what's this they've come across in the middle of the forest? Is it a super worm or is it a snake? Be careful it doesn't bite you and you hold on tight. I'm just going it's a statue, is it? Wow. all through this particular part of the forest there's a trail or several trails actually for the children to follow and uh, give them things to to look for on the way so all of them so what have we got on this one oh we've got super spider Luna runs off, catching up with David in the distance. <laughs> Reminiscent to the new forest, isn't it, with the cyclists and trees? And the signs are exactly the same as what they are in the Newport. Yeah. Just noticing the buco over here. We did go um, camping in the New Forest a few years ago and uh, did hire bicycles. And there's a, an owl. Next one for your daddy. And what does William do? He climbs on it. And what's William found now? Is that Mr. Fox? <laughs> Wait, like, you did that yesterday. Wait, let me do that. <laughs> Coming up to the bridge. <laughs> and this is actually the railway bridge. Over there. So you've got the railway lines. And we're actually going to. Um, for lunch to the station house, which is uh, well, where the railway station is here. So we could actually come by train, uh, but it would have been very costly. The trails there. And what's this one we found? Is this a rabbit? No. It could be, it's got big ears. It's got big ears. So it's a hair. It's not a hair. What is it? It's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. Oh. 
I wish I knew all these things. Do you play Pokemon Go? Go down the lower road here, so lots of different trails you can go on. And this one takes us to the forest centre. Oops, it's fallen down again. Yes, good question. Ask Elsie. Yes. Elsie. Tara, Stephanie, where are you? I'm doing well. I, I don't know where are they now. Maybe they are at sitting now. They're probably already down at the cafe having a drink. Yeah. They've got some ice creams here. <laughs> yes, they oh, maybe they found the ice cream man. Is there somewhere to buy those clothes? Oh, we had our reward at How the far away is the end? Oh, 50 yards. 50 yards. <laughs> yeah. So very near your reward. That's good. Thank Let's you. Let's have ice cream. Can we? trains on the train line we were just talking about. Luna! Luna. You do a lot of running, you do. Trail posters. Number one, the Super Toad. It's super camouflage. Ice creams. Lunch first. I would think so too. None are suggested ice creams. It wasn't me. That surprised me. It surprised me too. <laughs> And he, I need to suggest an ice cream. <laughs> 40 minutes to lunch. Well, the visitor centre is ice cream there. Uh, so we've actually done the reversed trail of the Superworm Trail. And we can share the photograms with the hashtag Superworm Trail. There is a very modern uh, cafe and visitor centre here with plenty of picnic area. Uh, but we're not going there for lunch, we're actually going to the station cafe which is right next to the railway station. Uh, we're nearly in the, at the end of our little bit of the trail before lunch today. And it's been really pleasant walking through the forest here. Doesn't work, does it? Yeah. Well, I'll, 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 
Yeah. see the car in the distance. Station house. 